Hello, how's it going? Welcome back. I've got the trike, the Tamiya T301, the Dancing Rider, ready for its first proper use. First use outside. Look, been looking forward to this for a while. It's just the weather's been pants. Um, today it is cold, it's wet, it's grey, but it isn't raining. And uh, what am I supposed to do? Wait till May? It's February in Scotland. I mean, beggars can't be choosers. This isn't standard, in case you don't know. It's got a full bearing kit. Um, I'm running on a two cell LiPo rather than the double A's it's supposed to be using. I have replaced this brace, which self writes it. Um, plastic one apparently, standard one falls off really easy. This is an FRP one, it's still from a Tamiya, it's Tamiya apart. These two links here, the blue ones, are adjustable. There's the steering links. Um, they are also Tamiya apart, optional extra. Got them because the standard part is only on one side and it's plastic, non adjustable. And I couldn't get the steering to center. If I got the thing, the rear pod level, then the thing, this brace was all to one side and it just would mean it would turn much tighter one way than the other and it looked naff. So you get these adjusted up to the right one. The reason for that is it's a, not a Tamiya servo. If it was a Tamiya servo, then the servo saver would be absolutely arrow straight up and down, but it's not. Uh, it's a Sander 25 tooth spline servo that's on it and uh, it doesn't quite sit right, so it was sitting a bit kinked to one side. But that's all sorted now. I've also replaced the front spring. The one that comes with it is super soft, really, really soft. And you see a lot of these videos of these things wobbling as they're going in a straight line. Hopefully it won't do too much of that. This is the medium spring. You buy the uprated spring packet, there's the medium and the hard. I went for the medium. Um, it's still a reasonable amount stiffer than the standard one. So we'll see what this little thing's all about. I've been looking forward to this. Apparently these things drive like nothing else on earth, so um, we'll give it a go. I don't know how to drive it, but we'll give it a shot. I've only ever sort of made it go forward and backwards in the living room, so... Uh, oh, good start. There you go, self right. Okay, okay, does it, does it... Oh, do, uh, okay, curve, curve's not good. I was going to say that actually, yeah. Uh, turned quite stable then I hit the curb and it torpedoed itself. Interesting. That's full speed. I mean it's not fast, of course it's not fast. Turn. Oh too much, too much, too much. Candy flick was too much. Yeah. Alright, calm yourself Mike a little bit. Oh I should maybe turn the total steering down. So I turn the steering down a little bit then I can Okay, turn it. Yeah, that's too much. Let me try and turn that down just a fraction. Alright, turn that down a little bit. <laughs> Stay away from the curb. Wow, big wide turn. So if you're... Oh, we're fine. So if you're on throttle, it uh, takes a really wide turn on full throttle, which makes sense. Look at that, full big wide turn. Is it much tighter left than right? Let's see, left, full, full lock. No, no, it's not. It's fine. It's the same. Stay away from them. Whoop. <laughs> it's tricky. Let's see if I can get into a slightly more open area. Hold on. <laughs> Only Tamiya. Only Tamiya would build something like this. Turn. Uh, turn. I keep backing off because I think it's going to... Oh, dear. You do need a really flat piece of tarmac, which this isn't, unfortunately. Because, of course, it's not. It's Scotland. Their roads are absolutely abysmal. Turn. What is that racket? It's as loud as a lunchbox. <laughs> it's brilliant. <laughs> Jeez. You can take a really tight turns if you're off at all. Look at that. <laughs> Rah! Turn! Speed! 
<laughs> Go up, watch the jump. Meow. <laughs> That's actually brilliant. That is actually genuinely brilliant. Speed. <laughs> That's the most ridiculous sight at full lean. <laughs> Especially, whoa, from the back. Look, look. <laughs> oh, yes. So, this is the power, standard power system, really. I mean, okay, it's not, it's two cell lipo, but, and I'm using an ESC. Um, but um, it's got standard motor in it anyway. Let's see what the motor temperature feels like. Nah, it's fine. A little gravel rash already. Oh, who cares? Who cares about that? That's entertaining. That's really entertaining. Fall over, self right, self right, there we go. See, this servo is a really weak plastic geared e-tronics that was from my FTX Outlaw and it was really struggling, but in this it's more than enough. And turn. Back off the kit, there we go. Uh, see, if you give it full lock like that, it pushes wide, although it's damp. I think the front tire would bite in a lot more if it wasn't so damp because it's a grooved slick. See, it's a grooved slick, a bit like what was on Formula One cars in the sort of, what, early 2000s? But um, obviously a motorbike tyre, so it's not flat, it's bowed. But, um, oops. Don't turn while you're stationary, it just falls over. That's just, uh, yeah, that's brilliant. That's actually brilliant. Oh, it's not, it's not, I mean, yes, it's fallen over a few times, but you know, it's, Slalom, look at that, slalom, full lock, full lock, full lock. It's it's relatively stable, really. Look at that. Full lock, full lock. Yeah. That was almost, was that almost a drift there? Was that almost a power slide? Oh, uh, that was, that was a, that was a, yeah. How do I, how do I initiate, get, initiate a drift here? Here we go. Yeah, this is pure Tamiya. Pure Tamiya insanity. Or pure Tamiya nonsense. Whoa, wheelie, that was a wheelie. Brilliant. <laughs> That's actually, oh, oh no. It's fine, look, look, look. Your launch box can't do that. So if you, I think it's the front tire digging in actually, when you hit a, an uneven patch. I gotta admit, when I first started it, and immediately it fell over. I thought, oh no, don't tell me. Don't tell me it's all flash and no go. But it's not. It's it's fine. Make it walk towards you. Eh. Eh. It's probably done no more than. 14, 15 miles an hour, but you know, what What, what do you need it for? Seriously, what, whoa, what more do you need out of it? What is that rattle though? Is that the driver? Or is there something else going on? What? Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Fine. It's all right.
can confirm it's absolutely useless on grass. Hold on, wait. Can, I'll just, hold on, give me a second. I'm just gonna, let me just, I'm going to, uh, wait, hold on. Nope. Uh, yeah, no. So that's the Tamiya T301 Dancing Rider. Um, bit of gravel rash along the top there. Not bothered. Paint has burst off there and is bursting off there, which is a bit more of a shame. But again, it's, it's not Shelf Queen, it's for using. Uh, you shouldn't really use it on anything other than completely billiard smooth surfaces. But finding one of those outdoors in Scotland is basically impossible. Uh, I did go to the local... Uh, multi-story car park thinking I'll go to the top floor be empty and smooth well apart on this one there's only two floors and um, it was still busy on the second floor it cost me two pound to leave again because <laughs> you've got to pay to park so I was there for six minutes <laughs> never mind uh, I'm sure there used to be a top floor anyway whatever um, it's bonkers it's nutty it's daft it's brilliant I really like this yeah yeah this is a what's the word a, a worthy addition to the fleet absolutely um and if the surface was smoother it would be perfectly capable i mean the, the only crashes it had were hitting stones which bear in mind compared to the size of it were big stones and more like boulders to to us and um and hitting curbs and things where the front wheel was digging in a prepared track or an indoor track or a hall or even just a really nice car park that's really smooth uh, like a multi story that'd be absolutely perfect it'd be so much fun but yeah i'm really pleased with that and it steers really well and it, it's massively effective and like i said it's got a really really piddly little plastic geared servo and it works a treat so thumbs up all around brilliant yeah i like it a lot I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Take care. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.